but I need money to move. Cordell Price is collecting bottles and cans so he can use the money to move out of the St. Joseph's River Watch Inn in Benton Harbor. To uh, find somebody to pay to, uh, to load my truck up and take myself out of here. He's lived there nine years and May 6th got a notice from Benton Harbor to vacate. Over the weekend, Price got another notice from the landlord saying he and all the other tenants in the building have to move downstairs or move out now. Today, the stairways are being boarded up. Now, when we told you about this story last week, I was here with the building inspector from Benton Harbor. He said there's plumbing problems in the building, so nobody lives downstairs because there's so much mold that is accumulated in these rooms. Price already had mold upstairs. And you already see the mold and stuff in there. Why would I want to move from there to, from bad to worse? Jay. Hi, young boy. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. Hey, can I talk to you for a minute? I asked the owner, Jay Kansara, about it. Um, I mean, they've been living up there for so long anyways. Like, why downstairs, you know? That's, I don't know. Because the attorney say, city manager say, it's a danger building. Kansara says his attorney told him the building is in such bad shape it could tumble at any moment. I even tried John Rolls, his attorney out of Grand Rapids. Uh, my name's Ryan Clund. I'm with uh, ABC 57 out of South Bend. I'm I left a message, but no call back. I will get out of here. Price says he doesn't understand it. All my stuff. You seen all my stuff in there. To move down there, that's moving twice. You know, I mean, I just don't understand. It. I mean, he says it's expensive enough moving once. It's people down here. See, the people.